first we browse for SQL Lite DB browser, search in, the, in your browser for that link. Then we open the first link called DB browser for SQL Lite from this page. Then we have to go to the download section. Look for the nightly builds and download nightly builds for Windows and Mac OS and click in the link. Since my Windows, my computer is 64 bit, I will go with the DB browser for SQLite Win64.msi. Click to download it. Save your file, then open it and install this application on your Windows machine. Click next, accept the terms. Now, and now the DB browser is installed. We now move to the Android Studio. I've already made a database that has only one table called Movies and I've added some records to that table. to the view drop down list view menu go to tool windows and then select device file explorer I click on that and the window opens on the right side you can select either the emulator or your real device then we have to go back you have to open the data folder, expand it. I go, go again and expand the other data folder in that section. And where you have to search for your project folder. My project folder name is database. So you have found your folder, your project name folder, expand it, then you have to go to the database folder and expand it. So the folder name is databases, expand it, and you will see three files. You have to select all three of them and export them to a folder. I will export them in my desktop. Right click, save as, and find the folder where you want to export them. I you uh, save them in a DB files folder now. So as you can see, the files are downloaded to my folder. Now we open the DB browser application again, go to open database, find the folder in my desktop, open it and open the sample DB database. You can see that my SQLite database for my own Android app has been, is open now. If we go in the browse data tab, then in the table drop down we select movies, that is our table and it has the records on it. So this, is, this is how we open SQL database Android app in Windows 10.